Hi everybody. Uh, welcome to today's presentation on configuring Power Exchange email for Power Center version 9.1. The agenda for today's discussion will be uh, to start off with, we'll give a brief overview on what Power Exchange for email server is, how to use the designer client to import an email source a quick demo of the feature and we'll also be happy to hear some feedback from you. To give you a brief overview of what it is, uh, it, the Power Exchange for email server provides connectivity between Power Center and email servers. It could be their Microsoft Exchange and we'd we'll probably be using MAPI or Java Mail APIs to connect and extract the data. Uh, what you can do is once you're connected to the Power Exchange email server, you could choose any of the folders, maybe inbox or outbox, and then pull in the data from those sources, and then you can use that data to uh, pipe it to a target and use it for further analysis. Uh, a pre before we go on to the demo, a prerequisite for uh, for Power Exchange email server is that the the Power Exchange email server should be installed and the plugin should be. Uh, registered with your repository service and on the same side the power exchange for email server client plugin should also be installed so that in your uh, designer tools maybe it could be either the designer client or the workflow client you should be able to see the import for uh, import from email source uh, task so let's start off with a quick demo here is a screenshot of how it uh, it should normally look where you, once you have pressed, uh, you will have an email server with a message size from two fields BCC. These are the fields that uh, you will uh, you will get uh, once you import, once you connect and import from a particular folder. And we will go over the, the creation of these names in, in the demo. Let me, uh, let me quickly open the designer tool for you. So here I have, uh, here I have already opened up a folder and uh, folder connected to the repository and if I click on this sources uh, let me <clears throat> so here I have in my designer I'm going to press on sources and select this icon import import from email server this icon will this uh, this particular task will appear once you have the Client installed the Power Exchange for email server, uh, client installed, and you have the required licenses. You will see uh, a, a, a box with the DSN server name, username, and password. So let's go on and create a DSN name, which is the nothing but a placeholder for the connection uh, to your end uh, Microsoft Exchange server account. So click on this icon, and you can get, uh, give a test DSN name. The username will be the username of your account a password and then the server name for your exchange server the connectivity that you want to use could be either imap pop mappy or pr basic 365 if you tend to use uh, ssl you, could, you would be using pop 3s so you would have to add in certificate uh, which would normally be a dot cert file or a dot cs file based on whether it's unix or linux and you should be probably be contacting your mail server uh, mail server admin to get the certificate file so that you can establish uh, contact with your uh, remote email exchange server uh, press on authenticate uh, authenticate to make sure that your connectivity credentials are fine and once you do do that you should be able to pull in the specific folder that you want to uh, pull the data out from i'm not going to go into details of what imap or the pop 3 and mapi are here but uh, you could check for more information on these protocols on the on the help screen. On the, when you click on help, you should be able to get more uh, information. Uh, on on the same note, I would uh, let's go back to the slide and see what it would actually look like when you configure it. So you will you will you basically give these credentials there, and and you should be able to pull in data once you once you press on the import. Uh, you can see an inbox an email server. And, and having this in uh, in your designer client, you could add further aggregators and other transformations and the end target to it as well. In and uh, now let's when you look at the workflow uh, mono workflow sorry workflow manager, you could use the press on the connections, press on application, and then to create a new connection, you would you would select the email server connection. Okay. And you would give the same uh, connection information, server name, protocol that you use, a PHP file, or the certificate file. 
so this is this is what you would do in the workflow uh, workflow manager connect uh, manager client to get a connection established so that was a very quick and basic overview of what it was and let's go back to slide so i hope you all enjoyed this presentation and we would love to hear your feedback uh, on this presentation or something and or if you need more information send it to support videos at informatica.com or you can even use our twitter account as